your soul moving with every step of you. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. So today is Boxing Day for me, but I'm not actually sure if it is Boxing Day because it's all a bit confusing this year because it falls on a Saturday. But it is Saturday, the day after Christmas, and I am gonna be doing a what I got for Christmas. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you're new here, then hello, hi, my name is Amy, and welcome to my channel. It would honestly mean the world to me if you could go down below and click the subscribe button. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy. I just wanna say thank you so much for the love on last week's video. Um, I got quite a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. And yeah, I'm just gonna get into my, what I got for Christmas, really. I've got a cup of tea as well. I'm really out of breath. I was just like moving everything around and now I'm just out of breath. Um, I'm gonna start with the stuff my boyfriend got me first, I think. So we like kind of set a budget on each other this year because we're saving for our dog. We just set a budget and we pretty much stuck to it actually. So I'll show you what we got each other first. Well, what he got me. I'm not gonna show you why I got him, that's boring. He got me some Adidas socks which I think I've got a few pairs of these, but like I always wear them. So yeah, he got me some Adidas socks, like the long ones. I just think these are really cool. And then he got me two of these cooking books. I think it was like a bit of a joke, but also like it wasn't a joke. I always moan that there's like, I'm bored of everything we have for dinner. So he's bought me some cooking books. This one's like a baking one. And I do really enjoy baking. And when like our kitchen's done, I know I will want to do loads of baking. So he got me the Mary Berry 100 Cakes and Bakes book. I haven't actually looked through this one yet, but there's just so much in there. And then he got me the Gordon Ramsay Quick and Delicious, the recipes for like dinner. Because yeah, like I said, every day we're like so bored of like dinner stuff the same dinners every day. And these are like quick ones, I think they're 30 minutes or less. And that's another thing, I hate coming home from work and spending like ages cooking. And he got me some Nike Air Force Ones. Also, I was so like annoyed about this. I swear they only did the juniors up to five and a half. One of my friends put it, I asked Leighton for these like a while ago because mine are ruined. Um, and I was like, the juniors got up to five and a half, but honestly get me a six, like the five and a half don't fit me. The other day, the girls put in our group chat that they now do juniors in a size six they're like 50 or 60 quid in junior and the adult ones are like 90 and like lately had already got me the adult ones so he got me just the white air force ones they literally look so nice they're such like a staple shoe but they almost look like too new now but my other ones are so wrecked but yeah these are like so stunning i just love them so thank you for that darling uh, Leighton's actually going to be in a video soon. I think it might be next week's video. We're doing the branded versus unbranded like food challenge and I persuaded him, which is going to be fun. So the next thing was one of my nans. She just sent, she sends like all of me and like my cousins. She just sends us money. Um, we don't really see them that often. Well, we do see them, but like they live, it's like 40 minutes away. Um, so we don't see them like regularly and she would prefer for us to just buy what we like rather than her buy things and us not like need it so she sent me 200 pounds bless her little heart so nice so i treated myself to some adidas trainers because i don't have any adidas trainers and i'm not awful about it but like mixing adidas and nike it does like trigger me like a little bit so i bought myself some adidas trainers um hermes obviously are shit and they literally left them outside my dad's neighbor's house just behind a card when they were in on Christmas Eve. I was so annoyed that like, if they'd like got stolen. So these were 90 pounds and the rest of my nan's money I haven't spent yet. Um, ah! But these are the um, the Adidas Originals, like the Oswegos. I think that's how you say it. I might be saying it so wrong and that's embarrassing, but they just look like that. I think they're so unreal. Um, and I got these in a six as well. They're like a beigey white color. They're not, when yeah when you put them against like white they're not white but i just think they're such a nice color um but i did try them on the other day and my toe i've had this ingrown toenail for like a couple of months now and like i don't think they're going to be good for my toe but they're unreal so i can't wait to wear these okay i'll do my dad so my dad i haven't actually seen him over christmas yet my we went yesterday on christmas day we went to leighton's mum's house obviously today we're practically in lockdown um, I haven't seen my mum yet either. We are going to exchange presents at some point, but obviously at the moment we can't. Um, she's kind of in our support bubble because she lives on her own, but 
at the moment with coronavirus and everything it's just not worth the risk so i haven't been able to see her yet but my dad dropped us some presents around before he went to wales so he's gone to wales to see his girlfriend for the christmas period he's going to be there now until obviously we're allowed to move again so he got me this like cute little gift bag it's the first person actually that like did gift bags i didn't do it for anyone he got me just some chocolate like you can't go wrong with chocolate can you galaxy donut caramel my favorite and mint arrow yes yeah, mint arrow oh no another thing my nan who sent me the money she also got me in late in a 50 pound nando's voucher like that literally melts my heart but my nan and granddad just so cute um and we literally love nando's so that will do us like two nando's probably little gem anyway yeah back to my dad so the chocolate the, he then got me the polaroid like um films or instant photos there's eight in here and he got me like a polaroid for my birthday for my 21st this year uh and these are like 16 pounds for eight photos it's ridiculous and i i still haven't run out because i literally take them so seriously i never waste them it's got to be like a serious photo um but he bought me some more of these he then got me my favorite perfume i've still got um for my birthday he bought me a big one of these and Leighton's mum bought me one and now i've got another one so i'm literally collecting them luckily they are my favorite uh so he got me the hugo boss the scent for her it's such an unreal smell like i recommend it so much it's so nice and um, this was like a bit of a jokey one it's a mug to keep calm i think like dad we're a bit like out of that stage now but it's quite cute um he got me keep calm keep calm i'm a project manager basically my dad's been like helping a bit like in the house like painting and stuff and like him and Leighton will like paint all day and i'll just kind of like walk around say i'm a project manager so it was a bit of a jokey one but it's cute and then the last thing that he got me was this um orange gin if you like gin or orange gin this one is like the best orange gin there is we've got another one downstairs oh what's it called it begins with a g um we have another orange gin but it just does nothing compared to this this orange gin is literally like unreal uh with some lemonade i would like highly recommend this gin um so he got me that and then he just gave me some money as well which obviously is so nice um and we're literally saving all of our money that me and Vin get for christmas we're just saving it put it towards our dog when we eventually get him which we're so excited about my dad's girlfriend who obviously he's in wales with now she got me this all saints bracelet it is adorable i've never actually been in all saints i don't think so it is just like this i don't know what you call these kind of bracelets and it just says all saints inside and then it's got like some diamantes like down the side i think there's three oh four but it just looks like that so i probably wear this like going now i wouldn't just wear it for like every day but i think that just looks so pretty obviously we went to leighton's mum's yesterday she picked me up a few bits which i did ask for and you know those things that you like really want and need but you just don't you can't justify spending that on yourself like on an everyday every like just like usually so she picked me up the odaplex four and five which is the shampoo and conditioner um i did ask for the smaller bottles but she said she got the bigger ones but honestly these are so expensive i've never used like the shampoo and conditioner i always use the i don't know what number it is but it's like the um leave-in treatment i used to like sleep in it sometimes and i think that's all i've used when i used to go and get my hair dyed somewhere else they used to like do an odorflex treatment as well so i got these I don't think you need a lot of it though. I think it is literally like just a sm the smallest amount ever. Um, so I've got Odaplex and she also got me Moroccan oil, which is also a big one. I did ask for the little one, bless her heart. Um, so yeah, the big Moroccan oil. I always used to use this when I first got my hair um, extensions in like years ago, but it's just like not justifiable to buy yourself. But I think this bottle is like 30 quid. Like it's so expensive so nice i can't wait to like use it all again i literally love like i'm trying to make my hair grow at the moment like some bits of my hair are as long as my extensions i don't know if you can like see the darker bits but it's just like all of this on top bit i literally i have a really bad habit at work i sit at my desk and i pull my hair out i don't know if it's like anxiety or like what but i literally pull my hair out um so i wear it up most days now just to try and stop that but it's just a pain like i just want it to be healthy and like for it to grow and leighton's mum also did get us quite a few joint bits 
um, for like housey stuff. So Leighton did ask for this, but I'll show you guys anyway. So it's this like spaghetti knife block. Well, it's a knife block and it's made out of spaghetti. It's like quite cool. And Leighton asked for this and he said that we didn't need a set of knives because apparently we've already got a set of knives. We've got three knives from Ikea and he thinks that's a set of knives. And like one of them's like bent, one of them's like broken. Like we don't have a set of knives, hun. And he like is adamant that we do. This does look quite smart though. Oops. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally like spaghetti. Ah, there you go. Like dyed black spaghetti. I don't know if that actually is spaghetti though, because like you can snap spaghetti and I don't even think you can snap that. Leighton is kind of like obsessed with that. Oh my god, that is so heavy actually. <laughs> I think I've just like pulled my neck out by doing that. Um, this is another joint present that Leighton's mum got us. It's this circle black like edged mirror and we are going to have this in the hallway. They had it in rose gold and black. Leighton fell in love with the rose gold one. Whereas I wasn't really a fan of that. Um, so we came to agreement we'd get the black one. It's just going to go in our hallway downstairs, which will look nice. Leighton's sister got us to share pink strawberry beef eater gin, which is also a really nice gin. Um, gin's like the only thing that we both drink together. Whereas he he loves, Leighton loves rum. And I'd probably choose to drink wine. But when it's like buying a drink for both of us, gin we both do like. So we've got some pink strawberry gin. And I was going to try and pick this up, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, I literally cannot pick that up. Basically, Leighton's auntie has got us the biggest microwave ever. I started to go like rusty and like horrible. So she got us a microwave, but I tried to pick it up and I literally cannot lift that one little bit. Um, and then we also got a slow cooker from Leighton's mum as well, which we did need. Um, and that is everything that I got for Christmas this year, which I'm obviously so, so grateful for. Um, as soon as I see my mum, we're gonna exchange presents. I'm so desperate to give her her presents as well. Like I love giving like presents. However, it's a bit awkward when you watch people open them and kiss and don't like them. So that was what I got for Christmas. I hope you all had such a lovely Christmas. Um, I know it was a bit of a different one this year, but hopefully next year things will be back to normal and we can celebrate with a lot more people. Um, so I hope you had a lovely Christmas and have a good new year. Um, and I will see you next week for a new video. Bye guys.